Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft PowerPoint. In this module, I want to show you how you can link and have slides updating in a Word document. I also want to show you how you can send a Word document into PowerPoint and create a presentation from it. But first of all, let's have a look at how you can link the slides in a PowerPoint presentation to a Word document. So on the screen, I've got a presentation, a slideshow. You can see there's quite a few slides there. What I want to do is send this into Word and have it linked, have the slide data linked. Now I'm going to put a, well, I have already got notes on this slide. Even though it's going to link and update the slides, what it doesn't do is update the notes. So if the notes are going to change, that won't change in Word, so you'll have to make sure you've got your notes complete. But what will change is any changes to the slides. Now, the way you do that is you go to the File tab and Export. This is the option you want. Create Handouts and Create Handouts. So this is a normal thing people do quite often. Notes next to slide, so that's when you've already got the notes. Blank lines next to slide if you want people to make notes below slide etc etc but the key here is if you want this stuff that's sitting on each slide to change in word if you change it in powerpoint i update you need to do paste link and then you can pick obviously one of these so the the notes themselves do not get updated so it's it doesn't matter which one of these you pick as long as you tick this option click ok to that and it will open up word there's the word table, so it just creates a table in Word. All the slides come in like so, as well as the notes. That's the slide with the notes on. But what you've got to do now is just test that this is going to link. Now, if I go back into PowerPoint, I'll just go onto a slide. I'll just go onto Waterloo, the title slide, and just change some information. If I go back into Waterloo, let's go for the 15th, which it was, to the 18th. Now that's changed, so if I go back into Word, it's not changed at the moment in Word, but if I just highlight this table, the whole table, and just do F9, which updates fields in Word, that should update it, and you can see it's updated there. Now just to show you that it doesn't update the notes, if I go back into Waterloo, and just put test, testing in the notes, so I've added a note, go back into Word, still got it highlighted, do F9 again. So it didn't bring in that note, so it doesn't update the notes. But what it does do is update any changes to the slide itself that will be picked up on these Word slides. So that's how you can link from PowerPoint into Word and have it automatically update the slides. Sending information from Word to PowerPoint is slightly different. So if I just open a Word document, this file, open that document. The key to this is that you have to have heading styles in Word. So this title here is a heading style 1. This title is a heading style 2. What will happen is when I send this to PowerPoint, PowerPoint will create a slide for every heading style 1 it comes across and a bullet on that slide for heading style two. And if you had a heading style three, it would be a bullet on that. So if I just go down, you can see there's quite a few, I think I've got seven pages of information. So it's not gonna take the text, you'd have to copy and paste that into the notes, the bits that you need. But if I go into, into view and just put the navigation pane on, that is basically the structure of the heading styles in this Word document, and that will also be the structure of the PowerPoint presentation that I, will, that I will send in. Now, to do it, you need to add the Send to PowerPoint button up here. And this is that one there, Send to PowerPoint. Now, to get that, you need to go into More Commands. So I'm on the Quick Access Toolbar, More Commands, or you can go through the options, file options, 
but you need to get into this area so this is word options quick access toolbar it's not under popular commands if you go and find all commands and then just type s to get to the s's send to powerpoint which i've already obviously got over there so this is alphabetical so you just have to scroll down a little bit quite a bit to send to powerpoint that one it's already across there you just add it across and then it'll sit up there and if you want to move it up or down you can do using these little arrows move it up or down so i'll just cancel that off so if i click this it's going to create that structure so what it's doing now is opening up another copy of powerpoint which i'll just bring onto the screen so you can see it i'll just enable editing so if i go to the view tab on here and just put this into outline view you can see it's brought the same structure that i showed you in word that is the actual structure but this is not linked so if you change the document in word you'd have to do this again and send it again and like i said if you wanted to bring in any of this text as notes you would just have to copy and paste this as normal into that presentation and just put it in the notes area but at least it gives you the structure and it's quicker than typing it out, out from scratch. Especially if that's quite a big Word document, like a health and safety document or something like that. So that's all I want to talk about in this little video. Basically how you can send slide, the slide structure and the slide content to a Word document and have it automatically updating if you use Paste Special and Paste Link. And also how you can bring a Word document back into PowerPoint and create a presentation based on the heading styles within Word. So hopefully this information's of use to you. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.